hello! In this video, I am going to be reviewing the Zenslab Quick Keys, and it is a remote that allows you to customize all of these buttons and also this wheel over here. And I can customize all of these buttons to do whatever I want them to do. Now, not only do I have access to these eight available buttons and a scroll wheel that I can customize too, I actually have a bunch of different sets of things that I can do. So I, you'll see here, this changes between sets. So I can have a set A here. I can have another set that I set for notability. I have another set here that I set for mm-hmm. And then I have two additional sets that I could customize. And I'm gonna show you how I've set this up, how I've used it with my tablet and how I'm using it with some other applications. I'm going to walk you through exactly which applications I've paired it with and how I've customized the settings. Before I get into all of that though, I do wanna show you what this came with. So obviously it came with the remote and I had to download a driver in order to customize all of this. And then it also came in this nice little bag here. So I can, you know, put the remote in there. It does come corded or with a wireless option. So I obviously have the um, wireless option going right now, but you'll see that it does come with a wire here. It is a USB plug, but it actually comes with the USB, USB-C adapter. So this is actually included in here. Also, I can keep that all together here. And again, right now I do have it wirelessly charged and I'm using it wirelessly, which is what I'm going to be showing in this video. So that's what it comes with. It comes with this nice little carrying case here. It comes with the remote itself. So let's go ahead and get started with how I've customized this to use with my tablet and with Notability. So I am using my Wacom One tablet, which is what I have been using for a while now, and you've heard me speak about it before. I've never had a type of remote so that I could customize some buttons for things that I wanted to do with the specific application so that I didn't need to reach for my keyboard as often. So I'm really excited to show how I'm pairing that with my Wacom One tablet. Now Zens Labs does also create some tablets of their own, but since I already have a tablet that I love, I've not explored that. I'm really just going to be focusing on the quick keys, how to set that up, and what applications I'm using it with. So I'm gonna start again with using it with the tablet, which is what it's intended for, but I'm also gonna show how I've paired it with some other applications and also just for my website browsing to make things a little bit nicer and easier. So I'm gonna show you a couple of different things in this video, but let's get started with specifically how I'm pairing it with Notability. And Notability is an app that I use very often. I'm using it with my Mac. And so what I could do by customizing my quick key settings, you'll see that you actually have the ability to set a bunch of different settings here. So I have set A, there was set B, set C, set D, and set E. I set up set A for my website browsing. Notability is what I set specifically in the set B, and then a uh, set C I made for mm-hmm, which is the app that I use for presenting. And I'm gonna show how I've customized each of these and how I'm using them. So the first one that I customized was Notability. That is, of course, an app that I use all the time. So I'll show you a bit of how I set that. There were some keys that I knew that I use all the time. So for example, I use undo all the time. If I'm in pen mode and I'm writing, if I wanted to undo something, then I would have to reach for my keyboard or, you know, go here to undo, which was just a pain since I do use undo quite a bit. And so now that I customized a key, I can just undo and it undoes the last thing. I can use redo and I can redo a couple things. I can also use some of the other things that I customized here. And I actually realized I'm not in my notability settings right now. 
these don't match what you'll see that I have customized. That's because I'm in the wrong set. So again, I could set different sets. So let me go to Notability, which was my second set. And so now I have, again, Undo, Redo. I love to zoom in and out easily. So here I can now zoom in and out really easily. I can also change from my pen to my highlighter. So if I click on Highlight, it changes to the highlighter just like that. Go back to Pen and... There we go, I'm back at my pen. Eraser is another one that I like to switch to often, so I can just use that to erase. Can undo if I want to. Again, just erase that check mark. And then select, oftentimes I like to select something like that and then I can move it around. So those were like the main things that I really wanted. And so I was able to set that all up here. And then the scroll wheel, I could also customize. So again, I have different control sets on that. So I have my zoom to zoom in and out. I kind of prefer to just have the zoom in and out buttons and then to have this set to the scrolling wheel so that I can scroll up and down without, again, having to reach for my mouse. This is a great pairing to have. I really don't have to reach for anything else when I pair my Wacom One tablet with the Zense Labs Quick Keys and I customized, again, a setting just for notability here so that I have all eight buttons that I can customize. You can see that I have the LED screen so I don't need to memorize what button goes to what thing. And then I also have the wheel that I can customize with four more sets of things. So that's really a lot and amazing all in one little remote that I have here. And this can be wireless too. So you can see here that I'm using it wireless. It can be wired also. So that's really the how I've customized it with Notability. I'm gonna show you how I set this up now and I'm gonna turn off my tablet so that you can see a little bit clearer without that backlight. Okay, so hopefully you can see that a bit clearer now. So let me go ahead and switch over and show you I can toggle between the different settings. So I have set A there, I have set B here, and then I have my set C here, and that all corresponds to the settings that I've set. So set A, notability, mm-hmm. I have disabled set D and set E for right now because I haven't figured out what I wanna do with them yet. How I set this up, so how I set it up in Notability, for example. I'm gonna start by going to the options and renaming the set B to Notability, since I'm going to be customizing the set for my Notability options. Then I'm going to enable it so that I can actually use it. For each of the buttons, I need to look at what keystroke, because I'm gonna be setting by keystroke. So look back at Notability, look at the menu bar to see what the keyboard shortcut would be for all of the commands that I want to set. And I'm going to set those in my quick keys customization. Again, I'm going to be doing this by keystroke. All I do is go to the menu. For example, I would see that the eraser is command four. So I choose my shortcut name as erase. And for the keystroke, I just type in command four, and then that will set it to that proper keystroke. So I'm gonna do that for the same thing for the various keystrokes that I want to set. So I know that I wanna set the pen, the highlighter, the erase, and select mode. And I am going to just go ahead, choose keystroke in my quick keys customization, and then type in whatever the name is that I wanna set it to. Whatever I have named it is what's going to display on the LED screen of my quick keys. And then I need to just type in the keyboard shortcut that was assigned through Notability so that it will map properly on my quick keys. Okay. So now that we talked about that setup, let's move on to how I'm using some of the other sets. So let's look at the set A that I have set up here. Here we go. So I've set it to undo, redo, copy, paste, back, forward, escape, and the URL bar. And so that's mainly for scrolling. I can just scroll like this using the scroll bar here, which is really nice. I like going to the URL bar a lot and then just typing in the new website that I wanna go to just like that. Then I can even set the back and forward keys here so I can go back and I can go forward. Again, it's just really nice to be able to just click on these. If I want something in the URL bar, I can copy it, I could open up a new tab, I can paste it in, 
And um, yeah, it's just nice to be able to control it that way. And the scroll is really nice too, just to have a scroll like this. Of course, you can do this all with the mouse. Also, I was just playing with this functionality and it can be nice to just have some quick keys at your fingertips. Now, the last one that I really am excited about is how I've integrated this with Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm is the application that I use for my presentations. So I've been really using this app all the time these days to present virtually because I really love being able to put on the shoulder view. So let me show you how that works. So like I can have the shoulder view on and off here. And so that would allow me to present my slides just over my shoulder. Left and right allows me to quickly switch between the slides that I have set up. You can see here that I have, you know, this welcome slide and then I have my about me card and I can just toggle between them if I have my slides set up like that. I can also quickly show the desktop if I ever need to show my desktop, which is something that I'm often doing when I'm presenting a screen share. Speaking of screen share, I set up the screen share button right here so that I can quickly press that button choose what screen I want to share and do a screen share while I'm presenting, which I'm doing all the time, toggling between a screen share and then maybe back to my main screen here. So now I can easily do that with the press of a button. Also, um, sometimes I want my slides to go full screen so I can toggle between full screen and shoulder. And that's what I've set up right here with my quick remote. So that makes things so much easier. Now, how did I actually set this up? There were a couple more steps that I needed to do for this one because mm -hmm didn't have all of the options in the menu bar originally. So let me show you actually all the steps I took to set this up. Let me walk you through how I set everything up for mm -hmm. The first thing I did, similarly to what I did in Notability, was I went to the menu bar. So I knew that I wanted an easy way to toggle on and off the shoulder view and the full screen of the slides. So I saw from the menu bar that the dot would actually toggle between full and shoulder, and then that the comma would turn the shoulder view on and off. So I set those two. That was very simple and very similar to what I did in Notability. Now, the next thing that I did was I wanted left and right arrows so that I could toggle between my various slides. So that was easy. Again, I just set the left arrow and the right arrow as keystrokes. Now, the one that was a little bit more complex was setting up the screen share because you can see in the menu here that there isn't a keyboard shortcut to turn on and off the screen share. So I needed to set that myself. And you can actually do that, set your own keyboard shortcuts on a Mac by going to your system preferences. So when I went into my system preferences, I went into keyboard, and then if you click on shortcuts and you go to app shortcuts, you can set your own shortcut by application. So I chose mm -hmm as the application that I wanted. And then for the menu title, you have to type in the exact menu title that you see in the menu of the application. So in this case, it is add screen share dot dot dot. So I'm going to type in that exact same thing. And then I'm going to set a keyboard shortcut that I want. So I'm going to just use command shift S because that's not assigned to anything else. It makes sense to me. So now I can actually use that keyboard shortcut and I'm also going to map it in my quick keys. Again, I already set the command shift S as a shortcut in my system preferences. And then I'm going to go back to my quick keys setup and I'm going to do the same thing like I've done in all the other situations here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on keystroke and my shortcut name is going to just be screen share. And the keystroke keys are that command shift S that I set. And so now when I press it on my quick keys, I get the screen share option with just the click of a button, which is great. Okay, I know I covered a lot in this video, but I hope it was a helpful overview, gave you some tips for ways that you might be able to use quick keys with the tablet and even with other applications that you have. I really love the LED screen so I can remember what buttons go to what things and I can use it in a variety of different applications. Again, I have 40 customizable keys that I can use here 
which is really wonderful. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with all the keys yet, so I need to figure that out, but I'm really enjoying it so far, and I hope you enjoyed this review. Bye for now.